Hey Facebook, we are gonna make something that can help you with lots of issues, super simple to make. We're gonna make magnesium spray. And if you've never heard of that before and you don't have a clue what it is, that's why I got this big old bottle of vodka here. Um, I'm gonna show you a really simple way to increase magnesium in your body and talk to you about why that's important to a lot of things, especially as you age. Let me share this into my wellness group really quickly as you guys are hopping on. I try to make sure um, that I share some of the wellness things that I do here, but if you're not in my group on Facebook, I do have a wellness group that is centered around Young Living Essential Oils because I am a distributor, but it is only for people that are not yet members or people that have already joined with me as members. So if you'll give me one second, I'm gonna share this in to there. I'm usually pretty quick, but of course, the internet does not want to cooperate with me. And so as you come in, we're gonna be talking all things, there we go, magnesium related. And it's a Saturday, and I'm in my real life Saturday attire here, okay? <laughs> and I wanted to, I was gonna try to see your guys' comments because I'm real life. I don't have my glasses on and I'm sitting kind of far away from y'all. So I'm gonna see if this is gonna let me see the comments. And if you'll just give me some grace to make sure. All right, that's all cool. Okay, so let's talk about magnesium. Let me look at my notes. Magnesium, so, okay, I'm on a journey, a health journey, a new health journey. I've been on a health journey for a while, but as you age, new things come up. <laughs> so, I'm working to increase my thyroid function right now. I'm working to, um, to take care of my adrenal glands. They are important for a lot of things. I'm not going to go into that today, but I will be talking about it more here. As I learn things, I'm going to share with you. I know a lot of you guys deal with um, hypo, hypo, hyper, thyroidism, thyroidism, Hashimoto's, like all of that kind of stuff. I am dealing with a sluggish thyroid, but I'm not going to claim that because there are ways to support your body to help it function properly. And something that's really important is magnesium. Uh, I had no clue how important magnesium was. I've actually been studying about magnesium for the past year. And so, um, magnesium is a mineral that we really need to make sure that we have in our bodies. And when it gets low, it can cause lots of issues. So, let me tell you just a couple of things that magnesium helps with. It helps to increase energy. I don't know about y'all. Anybody need increased energy? It helps to calm nerves and anxiety. Yep, need that. Helps with insomnia and can help you to fall asleep. Helps with digestion and constipation because we're gonna talk about things like that here because if that's an issue for you, it may be a magnesium deficiency, okay? Helps with muscle aches and spasms. The spray that I'm gonna show you how to make, the magnesium spray, sometimes it's called Magahol, you're, you can actually spray that on different places where you're hurting. Now, I have read that it, this is the first time I've ever made it, so we're gonna make it together. I have read that you can spray it on, like if you've got a shoulder that's hurting or a knee, you can spray it right on that. I'm gonna, but it can be tingly. It can get a little tingly. So I'm going to start by spraying mine on the bottom of my feet. One of the things I talk about a lot here is essential oils because I love them. They have helped me tremendously. They're going to further help me on my health journey now um, that I've gotten my blood work back and I know exactly what I need to target because I've had this going on quite a while and it was missed for quite a while. So this is why I say you need to be your own health advocate and you need to stand up for your health. But um, one of the ways that you can use essential oils is putting them on your feet. Well, why is that? It's because you have the largest pores on your feet and it, it'll just absorb right in and go do its work. Magnesium can be used the same way. And they're less sensitive there. So, um, it regulates levels of calcium, potassium, and sodium. Your adrenals need sodium and potassium majorly, okay? If you have a lot of stress in your life, your adrenals are probably need some nourishment, okay? so. 
by upping your magnesium, you're going to help your body to absorb things like potassium, sodium, okay? It's good for heart health, migraines. There's all kinds of things. You can Google it, but those are just a few, okay? So I just want to get in to, hey, Frida, hey, Christy. I, I can't see your comments from there, but I'm looking on the computer because I don't have my glasses on. All right, so let me show you guys. It takes legit two ingredients. It's Saturday night. Let's let's just here. Let me pour. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this would this would grow hair on my chest. Okay. No, but because <laughs> this is 80 proof vodka, and I'm gonna look at my notes. You need seven ounces. I got plenty right here of 80 proof vodka. Okay, not to drink. We're gonna put it in a container. Okay. You don't want to use metals. You don't want to use a metal bowl. You do not want to use any metal utensils. You don't even want to put a metal lid on this. I'm going to show you in a second. I'm putting it in a jar, okay, a ball jar. You don't want a metal lid because you don't want the metal getting into the mixture, okay? So you want to use glass or even plastic. I know that sounds crazy, but. So I've got eight ounces right, or seven ounces of 80 proof vodka here. And then Oh, my husband took the bag. Okay, because I went ahead and poured it out and he was helping me get ready. So in this bowl right here, and I will have links to this, um, wherever you're viewing this, there will be a link if you want to buy this. You can also find it, I'm not sure if it's at Walmart, but I know it would be like at Whole Foods or somewhere like that. These are magnesium chloride flakes, okay? And this is what they look like. Now, I'm sure you guys have taken Epsom salt baths before, and that is a great way to put some extra magnesium in your body. It's great before bed to take a, um, a soak, I call it a soak, and take a really hot magnesium bath. But these are a different kind of magnesium, okay? This is magnesium chloride. There's a different kind in Epsom salt. But the, you see how big the flakes are? See that? So again, these are magnesium chloride flakes and you need four ounces of it. Now I ordered a giant, uh, not a giant, but a good size bag from Amazon and I'll leave the link here when I'm done. Um, and it was like six bucks. It, there, it's not expensive and I think I had like six of these to be able to make this. But I'm gonna use some of it in a bath because you can also take a bath with these, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour the vodka. Woohoo! Bad memories right here. I can I, some times right here. You know what I'm saying? Like college. Ugh. Still, the smell gets me sometimes. All right. So we're going to in our ball jar. We're gonna pour in the seven ounces here of 80 proof vodka. So that's all I've done. And then I'm going to pour in four ounces of the flakes and try not to make a mess uh, because I am not the neatest person. Ooh, yeah, I made a mess. How about I just scoop them in? How about that? Because Melody likes to make messes. And then after this DIY, I'll have to spend all my time cleaning it up. <laughs> That's usually what happens. So, all right, I'm gonna pour this in. All right, I got it all in there and some on the floor. We'll just deal with that after this live broadcast. All right, and all you're going to do, now you wanna make sure you have a ball jar that can hold it, uh, some kind of glass jar with a plastic top. You don't want to use the metal top. And then, so what's gonna happen is, this is what it looks like, okay? You're going to take a plastic spoon or knife and stir it up just to kind of get it all stirred up in there. So that's all I'm doing, sorry. I'm in a limited small space, y'all. So when I do DIYs, it's kind of hard for me to show you everything. I have to kind of hold everything up. So, and then you're just gonna let this sit on the counter. I'm gonna put the lid on. You're gonna let this sit on the counter. Looks like you're making moonshine, doesn't it? This gonna, you're gonna let this sit on your counter or wherever, you know kitchen, whatever, um, and every so often, stir it up. And then 
when all of the flakes are dissolved, here's what you're going to do. Now, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I think they said it would take like 24, 48 hours. It's not long. It's a day or two. Ooh, I should have brought in a... My hands got oily. Okay, so you're going to let this sit. You're going to stir it from time to time, right? Like every time you go in the kitchen, give it a little stir. You could probably shake it, but it says stir. We'll stick with that. Once it's all dissolved, you got two choices. You can get these nice little glass spray bottles. There's no metal in this, so it's plastic and glass. Um, I use these when I make a lot of stuff with my essential oils, but you can um, pour it in here, and this is what I'm gonna do, and you can start with, at night, spraying it on the bottoms of your feet. That's gonna help with insomnia, that's gonna help you to relax. Now, I have heard of people, once they make sure it doesn't sting, because if it stings, you could probably add um, a little more, you maybe could even add a little water to it to take a little bit of the sting out, but your body should get used to it and it will sting less and less, okay? That's what I have read. I will let you know if that holds true. And so once you know that it's not gonna sting you, you can then spray it like on your calf muscles. Uh, some people I've even read about this year that I've been studying, they spray it all over like before they get in the shower and they let it soak in and then like 10 minutes or so and then they will get in the shower and wash it off because it can leave like a little because I can tell I, the flakes from my hands have left like a a little bit of a feeling behind like a little I don't know not gritty almost a little slimy and I've heard people say well it doesn't bother me and some people it does so you can put it on let it sit and then get in the shower or you know put it on at night get in bed right put it on the bottoms of your feet but I'm gonna try it um, on my joints like once I try it on my feet I'm gonna try it on my knees I'm gonna try it on my hands because I have uh, pain in my hands in the winter time so we'll see if that works I'm really excited I've been wanting to try this for a long time now if you don't like the idea of spraying it you can get a roller bottle again I will link to this but these are from Amazon they're just glass right here now the only thing that concerns me is this has a metal top on it but it's recommended to use it I'm probably going to use the spray but this is another way you could just roll it on the bottom of your feet okay so you've got two options of how you apply it and that's it that is they call it magahol because it's magnesium and alcohol and again it's supposed to help with so many things so I'm gonna start very slow. I'm gonna give one spray to each foot as soon as this is ready. And then I'm probably gonna do that a few nights and then see if I sleep better, see if I feel better. It's not just about sleep, it's about a lot of things, okay? It makes your adrenals happy. When your adrenals are happy, your thyroid is happy. When your thyroid is happy, you have more energy, right? <laughs> so. I'm going to, then I'll probably put like two sprays, three sprays, and I'll just see how it affects me. And that's how I'm gonna recommend you do anything. Um, if you're trying new supplements, whatever it is, start low and go slow. And I say this with essential oils too. Put them on, see how your body reacts, give it time, pay attention, listen to your body, You'll know when you get to the level where you feel good and that's where you want to stop, right? You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to underdo it. And nobody can tell you what that point is but you, right? So you want, you've got to get really good. When you're dealing with natural solutions to things, you're going to have to get in tune with your body. You're gonna have to really learn to pay attention and listen. And in fact, I'll recommend to you, keep a journal. I keep a, um, I call it a fitness journal, but it's like my food journal, it's how I feel. Yeah, I write if I have bowel movements, are they loose, are they normal, are they regular? I track everything. Because that's how I know when my body's happy and when it's not. Yes, is it a lot of work? Absolutely, taking a pill is much easier. I don't want to damage other parts of my body to take care of one part though. So I'm not knocking medicine, but I'm gonna try everything I can <laughs> to help myself sleep and help myself. Whatever I need to do, I'm gonna try natural route first. 
And I, I just believe that that is better for our bodies if we can get things functioning properly. The idea is if you support your body, right? You support your systems, you support your organs, it's going to do how God designed it to do. Your body was designed to perfectly work. God created us to perfectly work. What happens is you get a vitamin or a mineral that's deficient and you're going to notice it the older you get. I'm 40 now. Since I hit probably 30, really 29, I really notice when something's off in my body. And I find that I can't even really explain that to my doctors all the time. Because I'll go in and I'll say, well, I don't really know, like, I've got this going on and that going on. And that's why I write things down. Because do you ever go to the doctor and get amnesia? You ever like, wow, I had like 16 things to tell her about and I totally forgot. Like, all but one. And then you go home and go, I meant to tell her about... So if you get really in tune with your body and listening to it and paying attention to it and taking five minutes at the end of the day to write down what you ate, how much water you drank, did you take your supplements, you know, and add one thing into your life at a time, you'll know, wow, this is helping me. This didn't really help me. I need more of this. I need less of this. Yes, it takes more work. Sometimes I feel like I'm in the midst of getting a medical degree. And I'm not interested in medicine. You know what I mean? I don't want to be a doctor. But I want to feel good. And I want to teach other people how to feel good. I want to take care of my temple. I would like to be here for a while. Just because I'm 40, honey. I got things to do. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel 40 in my mind. So I kind of need my body to get into agreement with my mind. And we all going to get into agreement with heaven that I am healed already. I just need to get my body back to functioning properly the way it was created to function. So I tried that with natural methods. So if you're interested in that, make sure to tap my face and then hit follow, right? Share this if you would, please. If you, if so, you can remember, whoops. So you can remember the recipe and so that we can help more people, right? To learn this stuff. Please do share this if you would. I would greatly appreciate that. That helps me not to have to pay Facebook to help people when my friends share. And make sure you're connected with me because I'm going to be sharing a lot of stuff here. I'm on this journey. And you, you know, if you've been with me for long, I take you along with me because you can learn with me. We can learn this together. If I can save you some grief or some steps, I want to do that. Okay. Thank you, Christy, so much for sharing. I'll go back and check comments. If you're on the replay, be sure to comment so that I can say hey to you. I do care about who watches because I like to talk to you and get to know you and connect with you. I'm not here to hear myself talk. I'm interested in people, right? Which means I want to get to know you. So comment, say hey. If you can't think of anything else, say be like, hey, I just want to know. Hey, you know, hey, cool. Thanks for watching. Like, I'll see your name. I'll know who you are. <laughs> All right. If you have questions, post them. I'll do my best to answer them. I hope you're having a good Saturday. I need to go build an ark. Love you guys.